Hey everybody, last video I mentioned RTP and FedNow. Now there's a lot of differences and there's a lot of similarities. Actually, there's not very many differences in the two payment networks and there's a heck of a lot of similarities. RTP, real-time payments that are offered by the clearinghouse, more of the private sector, but it's available to everybody. FedNow, the Federal Reserve Bank's instant payment service. Both of these payments happen extremely fast. I mean, both of them are gonna happen in under 20 seconds. Both of them can, you know, are one-time push payments, credit push payments, really important. Now, the one big issue that is out there in the industry, and it is kind of a big issue, is interoperability. People ask, does RTP and FedNow work together? And the answer is, not yet. Will they ever? I believe so, but there's nothing official saying that they will. So when we see what is happening in the world of RTP and we have FedNow, there is no interoperability between the two. Now, why do I think they will work in the future? Because the reality is the clearinghouse offers the same banking services that the Federal Reserve does. A prime example would be ACH services. The clearinghouse is actually a ACH operator. They have for their clearinghouse members, the ability to work as an operator for the clearing of ACH payments for their members. Now the clearinghouse in doing this also works with the Federal Reserve Banks as they will do an exchange between each other to make sure that there is interoperability in ACH. So in the ACH world, we see there is interoperability between the Federal Reserve Banks and the Clearinghouse. Right now, as of today at least, there is no interoperability between FedNow and RTP, but I believe, you heard it here, I believe we will see that in the future. But for now, today, no interoperability, but mark my words, it's coming.